welcome to your tarot reading forecast with guidance from your ancestors and past loved ones for the month of September 2022. Leo, we're going to start with some tarot. Two for your past, two for your present, and two for your future. Also, Leo, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs as there can be another message there for you. First card, the seven of wands. Next card, the Knight of Swords. Next card, the Six of Cups in reverse. Next card, the Five of Swords. Next card, the Ace of Cups in reverse. And the next card, the Ace of Swords in reverse. I've got a few reverses there, Leo. Okay, so let's get started. Leo, with the Seven of Wands, in the past, you had a challenging relationship. You felt you had to fight for this relationship if you wanted it to go to the distance. This challenge may come from inside the relationship in the form of you or your partner trying to blame each other for issues. You felt like your relationship was under attack from a third party that you needed to protect and defend it. You felt you needed to maintain control and hold your own and be determined. You didn't want others to ruin what you felt you had. In the past, for those of you that were single and you were interested in someone, you felt the need to fight for them. Maybe there was serious competition for this person's attention. And you felt that if you allowed yourself to sink into the background, you may get overlooked. Leo, in the past, your partner, regardless of gender, felt like they had to jump in and seize the moment. They were very assertive direct, but honest, quick-witted, and intellectual. They were also very dashing, daring, brave, and courageous, and a bit rebellious. They were also very talkative, ambitious, forward-thinking, focused, and single-minded. They had great leadership qualities and that's why you were attracted to them. They were also a perfectionist and risk taker. When you met this person, either you or your partner were about 20 to 35 years of age, regardless of gender. They may have been the sign of Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Now, this partner, Leo, was also very impatient and impulsive. They had a very direct manner and can sometimes make it seem that they were insensitive. However, they were also exciting and adventurous, which drew you to them. Leo, you have been waiting for this for quite some time, that you wanted to jump in with both feet. You were 
looking at this relationship right away for a commitment or marriage proposal or a romantic proposal. However, this partner may be thinking about leaving the relationship as a result of this as they don't want commitment or it could be you didn't want commitment. Either way, you or your partner felt like you had to fight to keep the relationship. With the Six of Cups in reverse, for some of you, this relationship is over. Or for some of you, it's about to be over. Because you or your partner or both are feeling bored or a lack of passion in the relationship. Although this relationship may give you security, you may be finding it stifling, or they are finding it stifling. Now, if this relationship has ended and you are currently single, you are ready to put your past, this past relationship, behind you and move on to some one better, something better. Also, Leo, you may be still looking at your relationship or your past relationship through rose-tinted glasses and comparing everyone new that you meet unfavorably to this ex or soon-to-be ex. In order to move forward, Leo, you need to remember that your past relationships is over for a good reason. Holding on to the past or reminiscing about the past will not change anything, and you could end up wishing your life away. Give someone else a new chance. For some of you, you may have childhood issues or childhood abuse that may be that may be preventing you from finding the love you deserve or affecting your ability to open up to your partner if you are still in a relationship. With the Five of Swords, if you're still in the relationship, no, Leo, it doesn't get any better. This indicates arguments, hostility, and serious conflict going on due to lack of communication. There's some deception and self-sabotaging behavior going on here. Also, infidelity and cheating is going on in this relationship. This is what is going to lead to divorce and separation. You feel defeated. You feel like walking away. There may be some intimidation, some bullying, some aggression in the relationship. Know, Leo, that you should not be in fear of your partner. And if you are, this tells you that something is seriously wrong here. If your partner is abusive, you need to recognize the danger you are in and reach out for support of family, friends, or an organization that can help you get the strength to walk away and take your power back. No one who truly loves you will treat you in this manner, in this way. If you are single, you may be seeking out relationships with people who have a dark side or potentially dangerous or deceptive. These types of situation, these types of relationships you would never wish to find yourself in. So make sure you are taking proper precautions when going on dates with people you do not know very well, such as meeting in a public place and letting a family member or friend know who you are meeting and where. With the Ace of Cups in reverse, Leo, in the future, I see that this relationship is over. You may be finding it difficult to find or maintain a relationship at this time. This may be due to repressing your emotions 
or being unwilling or unable to approach new relationships with an open heart. As you are still holding on to feelings for this ex with their unrequited love, who doesn't feel the same way. Leo, you may have unrealistic expectations of this ex-partner or any potential partner for that matter in the future, which is leading to just disappointment either way. Perhaps you have been hurt in the past and are struggling to allow yourself to be vulnerable. This will ultimately hold any potential relationships back if you do not resolve these issues right away. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, in the future, Leo, this only confirms the conflict, the confusion in that relationship. This indicates the miscommunication or lack of communication that was causing the issues in that relationship. However, it can also indicate a more deep-seated situation in the future. If you continue to pursue this relationship, will only lead to hostility or resentment. And this is what led to the destruction of the relationship. This Ace of Swords in reverse indicates that you may meet someone in the future soon who may have an attitude or mindset regarding relationships that conflicts with your own. For example, if you are seeking a committed relationship, you may find yourself dating someone who only wants a fling or a casual relationship, or vice versa. You may find yourself making the wrong decisions or choosing potential partners who do not share your values or beliefs or may simply not be in the right mindset at the moment to form a healthy romantic relationship in the future. Leo, you have to turn within and love yourself and put yourself first and radiate that love outward in order to attract the love that you're looking for moving forward. Let's get some guidance from your ancestors and past loved ones and see what they have to say about all this. Let's get some guidance for my enlightened Leos. Some guidance for my enlightened Leos. Broken Arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Leo, your ancestors, they want you to know that if you feel like you have been exposed in this situation and you have felt the need to protect yourself or defend what you feel is right, know that this is now coming. To an end. You are being guided to know that the energies of light are entering to wash away all of that darkness. You will be in a situation that will honor you and honor your needs. Arguments and disagreements will end. So prepare to receive the peace that you would like to enjoy in order to move forward in a more fearless way, it's important for you to let go of the idea that you can be hurt by the situation or by the person involved because this will only work against you. Leo, know that your ancestors and past loved ones are standing around you, protecting you, and moving you lovingly forward. 
Okay, let's receive some more guidance for my enlightened Leos from their ancestors and past loved ones. Shaman, trust in higher forces. Your ancestors and past loved ones wants you to trust them. If you feel you have been given your power away, they want you to claim it back. There are spiritual allies working in your favor. And their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your ancestors and past loved ones. When you do so, you allow them to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct this situation within you and come out on top. Also, Leo, you have this shamic potential within you to move between the realms and connect with your ancestors and past loved ones, your guides and angels, in an extremely personal way. So tap into who you are, what you're capable of, your gifts, your talents, your abilities. I feel drawn to pull from some chakra love. Meditation, to see more clearly, close your eyes. Leo, meditation, you strongly can use some meditation, tap into who you are through meditation. It will bring you that peace, that clarity. So close your eyes and be still and breathe. And that is your tarot reading forecast for September 2022. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.